my sickness is gone. I don't feel like death. I think I had strep. I think it was strep. Couldn't figure out what it was. Everyone was like the flu. And I was like, I don't know. I've never had the flu. I just thought the flu would be a little worse. So you're kind of just like throwing it out of proportion. I mean, I usually, generally I end up with strep throat at least like once a year. Ooh, really? Jeez. Yeah. So like if this was if it, this was strep, this was the first time since freshman year I would have had it. So Jesus. So I mean, once it hits, I'm just kind of like, yep, it's that time. Huh. No, I mean, I got, I still got like this canker sore in my mouth that makes it hurt to talk, which is not oh, ideal. But true. I had, you know, I was like, I can't. We can't miss two weeks of recording. That's just pussy. That's a pussy move. Because if we're being totally honest, if I would have just stayed on top of my shit last week we would have had an episode recorded before I got sick, but I was a little lazy. I'll own it. I'll, I'll, so. I'll allow it this one time. <laughs> but, um, I know, I know, I do remember the uh, last episode we had at the end. We like did, um, essentially like performance evaluations of everybody. Or, like we, you know, talked about their strengths and weaknesses and such. Mm-hmm. How about, how about this one? Because we've mentioned it. How about we just talk about a specific thing? How about we talk about our WWE 2K series? Okay. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like we could ch- chat about that for a good 20 minutes and then just see where it leads us. I mean, I was going to beat your ass, so I mean, it's not too much. But, uh... <sighs> oh, my God. I hate you. We'll do it again. We'll run it back. Get your ass up here on a Saturday when you can. We'll run it back. Re-record something. Um, fucking slap no. that ass. I, I think, I, I just always liked it, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm really trying to think, it really was the first series we ever made. Mm-hmm. At least consistent series. Yeah, yeah. Like, very, very consistent. We just, we, we broke it down, we were like, yeah, we'll just record back to back to back to back to back episodes, you know, all this and that. Mm-hmm. And have a ton ready for release. And that worked real well. And it was just really fun. I mean, I know the quality of the videos, the mics weren't the best and, and, and whatnot, but very good videos, I thought. I thought they were very funny, and I, I don't know, I had a lot of fun recording them. Um, yeah. Can never go wrong with the old WWE videos. Well, you know, I mean, I know some people do, like, universe mode shit on YouTube and whatnot. Any of the wrestling YouTubers, they uh, do that a lot, but I thought we did I thought we did it kind of cool, where we drafted teams. Yeah. And, like, had them compete against each other. I don't, I'm not aware of any other uh, YouTubers that actually do that specific thing. And then, like, have a whole point system based around that and have a whole this and that. And it was also, like, I always liked it a lot because it was, like, one of the first times I think we were invested enough in a video to kind of want to do a bit more. Like, how we would actually structure, like, how we did the Survivor Series thing and we had to make whole new uh, outfits for everybody and, like, all this shit. And, like, I don't know, we... I, I I can see that we actually cared about how like how it was all going, instead of just hey let's press record and do a video. We actually like put some thought into it. Fucking made our own tag teams and everything. Just fucking changed up the whole fucking shit. Basically like a what if series, but at the same time not because we were just we were just just doing our own thing. Yeah. No, I mean definitely one of my prouder series. Um. Where did we leave off on it? I, mean, I know we never finished, obviously. I cannot remember uh, where we left off. Did we get to a Royal Rumble? I don't think so. I think we stopped at Survivor Series then. I think that was the last thing we actually posted, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, everybody could check if you you know, had the videos up. Well, like I said, I'll put them up as we talk about things. Uh-huh. I, I I mean that that's a that's a hell of a lot of videos to unlist True. actually, but I need to at least uh <laughs> I need to at least uh do the one I don't remember who I was playing as I think I was Sting yeah I was when I pulled out the baseball bat <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was another learning experience of being careful what you say when you're being recorded something two people fresh out of high school probably aren't qualified for but we did it i don't i it, don't it, remember it was what, just always so funny i don't but, i don't remember what you said oh well, i'm trying to think but i, I good when i have to I, I, I had to bleep out about a good 
seven second chunk because <laughs> I think I was staying in that match, and I think um I was like, dude, if if I get a damn baseball bat from under the ring, I'm going to flip the fuck out. And then like a couple minutes later, when I went down there to go grab one, I did, and I, yeah, I, I got excited, said some excited words. <laughs> um, we love excited words. That was always the beauty of uh. Like, streaming was fun, but you... There's not much room for error <laughs> in uh, streaming. No. Well, I think I think that hurts content, though. In, in a way, like, trust me, there are some things um, we've said on recorded videos that, like, it's maybe it's meant to be a joke, maybe it's meant to... And it just doesn't land or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it just don't work, it don't come across the right way. It ain't as funny as you thought it was. I'm not even saying, like, offensive. I'm just saying, like, with streaming, you, you, you're conscious of that the whole time. But with YouTube, the magic of editing comes in. And if something doesn't stick, hey, fuck it. You keep rolling. I always <laughs> That's what I always liked about recording videos as opposed to streaming a little bit. Um, but, you know, streaming has the whole talk to a community literally as you're doing stuff. I wish there was a really good way to integrate shit like that. Like, like what's the next big internet wave? You know, like we went from <laughs> Let's Plays to... Uh, long form like Markiplier style videos for a while there mm-hmm. were very popular. We're in the street. Like, what's what's next? There's got to be something. Streaming ain't gonna be forever, ever like the number one dog. There's gonna be, I feel like there's gonna be some type of merger between like when um when we were streaming a lot. I there was no feasible way I could do it, but I had the idea to have like a twenty four seven stream constantly on Twitch that almost functioned like a TV channel. Mm-hmm. And so we would record like, so for example, like the YouTube videos we record during the stream and stuff, those would play on the stream, new ones, reruns, whatever, play that. But then it would be, it would, it, it wouldn't be like, like I know some people do like their content on a 24 seven basis, just constantly replaying videos and shit, like, yeah. like a radio type deal. But I had the idea that this would have like live stuff in it too. So like, Five o'clock, this video ends, and at five o'clock, I start streaming, or you start streaming, or Jake, you know what I mean? Like, just different subsets of yeah. things, and I, th- I always thought that would be really, really cool, but that requires an infrastructure I do not have. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's also a lot. That's a lot that uh, needs to be maintained. Oh, yeah. And, like, I mean, it would have to be your full-time job mm-hmm. to, to do it properly, because if if you or I or whoever was helping us was at work or something, and let's say something fucks up, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? True. That was just always an idea I had. Still have that idea in the back of my mind if something ever changes and we would ever be in a position to do something like that. That would be crazy, though. Yeah. But I think, I mean, to be honest, I think people are kind of doing that to a point already. Like who? Uh, Nobody specifically that I can think of. But just like, I mean, I see like people are just, well, people are just kind of keeping content on a stream and then just kind of playing it through. Like maybe not the full extent with the, uh, like with actually doing live stuff in between, mm. but still kind of just going through with a base, basically just like streaming old stuff on a continuous loop for however long. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I know people do that. But I always, I, I don't know, I always like to think to, like, when I was younger, I loved watching ESPN. And to go from, pardon the interruption, to around the horn, mm-hmm. to this and that and this and that. I was like, man, could you imagine if, like, there was something like that? Like, and I'm not even saying, like, st- stream just us playing games. Like, what if there was, like, a 30-minute, like, I don't know, like, something something like around the horn, but for games or something. Or gaming, or just nerd culture, or, like movies or just i don't know shit like that i always thought that would be really cool so yeah i mean i know people do that 24 7 if they have you know a server that can reliably do something like that but yeah i always wanted to see how far we could push it but uh god bless my dad he's i guess he's a great it at work i'm assuming but at home he's <laughs> not very good so i don't think i could trust him to run a 24 7 stream for more than i think we we probably wouldn't make it the 24 i don't think no we wouldn't have, yeah, we wouldn't have made the 24 out of the 7. Like, we would have, yeah, maybe 12 tops. 
I mean, shit, when we were streaming for a while there, I, we couldn't keep a stream running for more than an hour without something happening. And remember, he couldn't even he couldn't even keep the website up. Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of ambition. It's like it's like me and Jacob were playing multiverses earlier this morning. He texted me real early. He's like, hey, I go to work at this time. You want to play some multiverses? I'm like, I'll catch a few games with you, sure. And the first two games, he's just lagging his ass off. <laughs> and I'm like, what, well, dude? I'm like, I just, I, put, I pay Comcast $90 a month. And my internet just doesn't go out. It doesn't. It did for a while yeah. there when I was paying the cheaper plan. But then I upgraded because I got sick of it. And so I'm like, what is, what's going on over there? How How is all this shit going on over there? And you're you're all the time lagging or going down. See, so. I don't know. Because, like, I don't, I don't really have internet issues. Like, I mean, if there's, like, an outage or something, then, yeah, like, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, like normally I'm pretty, it's it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I like, truly, rarely run into issues. Rarely. Plus, like I'm running like we'll say eight different uh, things on the Wi-Fi like at all times. Yeah. Because I've got my phone, my phone. I don't know if Allison uses the Wi-Fi, but my phone, Dustin's phone, Trey's phone. If I'm on my laptop, my laptop, as well as PlayStation. My Switch, if I'm on my Switch, too. Just, like, everything, all at once. Dustin's PlayStation, uh, the Xbox. So, like, I I don't know. See, we got two phones, three Xboxes, a PC. Our two TVs are on Wi-Fi. Switch is on Wi-Fi. Um, our stove is on Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, That's wild. I can preheat the oven through my phone. I'm not big on the the like techie shit for like very simple things but like Bro. that one's that one's real convenient i ain't gonna <laughs> that's, lie that's fucking wild like, i ain't all about like the whole like talking to your house to make your lights turn on shit but i'm like it's real convenient to just preheat an oven and then go throw some food in there like 20 minutes later it's like that's nice uh i'm probably i'm sure i'm missing something that's crazy but, yeah <laughs> It's it's cool though I like it but I, th- I think that's I like we had a camera outside that was on Wi Fi as well before it kicked the bucket and then when Jacob lived here his phone and his Xbox yep all Vanny lags every now and then because she is pretty far from the modem yeah and these walls are like concrete walls so I don't think the signal goes through all that great but. The internet isn't the problem. Just her distance from it's the problem. Yeah. I mean, we could we could all three be playing Xbox on our phones. I could have the PC running, and like never never really went down ever. Just for a while there, when I was paying the cheaper plan. Once I finally upgraded, I was like, oh no, this is nice. This is fine. I even at my parents' house, like after they got decent Wi-Fi, I've never I've never had a problem. Hell, one of my one of my outstanding achievements for the Wi-Fi was that I literally downloaded um, GTA, like GTA 5, in an hour, and it was like 100 gigs. I mean, shit, like right now, I mean, I'm updating, uh, or I'm not updating, I'm reinstalling Modern Warfare 2. I'm at 178 megs, and I know maybe for some city people or something, that might not sound like a lot, but for this area, yeah, yeah. I'd usually yeah. be lucky to hit like 30 or 50. Yeah, That would be like a big deal. 170 is crazy. Yeah, I get I get good internet here. I'm about to have Modern Warfare 2 installed in roughly an hour, so that's cool. I mean, before, God, six years ago, that would have been literally a whole day thing. A game would come out and be like, all right, I'll play with you tomorrow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. It's usually, like, with their updates, honestly, that's kind of how it is. Because their updates are like, I mean, even, even 30 gigs, like, that might be like, 30 minutes, almost an hour. But that's still like a long ass fucking time to wait to try and play the game. Yeah, if, if you're just waiting, yeah. 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 Like, if, you, if you're just throwing it on in the background, that's one thing. But like, if it was, like, let's say I got home from work and I know I'm not going to stay up super late. And you're like, hey, jump on Modern Warfare. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And then I see this problem where it uninstalled for me. Yep. I'd be like, fuck. Can't do that now. Like, dilemmas. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm at 233 megs right now. Like, that's Which... Which, nice. with PlayStation, which it's probably going to change, like, after everything kind of gets settled or whatever. Yeah. But uh, they usually give us, like, a pre-download of the update to do, like, the day before. So that uh, way we can just go ahead and 
I mean, there's several Xbox games that do that. I don't know if Call of Duty is one of those or if it's like a PlayStation exclusive type deal. I think it's PlayStation exclusive because uh, Allison doesn't get it on the one. Okay. So then, yeah. Which is still crazy because, like, uh, I don't, like, with Activision buying it out, I'm not sure how that's going to work from now. Like, from now on. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure PlayStation exclusives will not be a thing, but if they were smart. But, like, I mean, shit, um, have you seen that uh, video game from the creator of, or one of the creators of Rick and Morty? Yeah. The, uh, uh High Life. Oh, no, no, that one, yeah. Well, that one, that yeah. one too, but no, that was, that was the one I was thinking of. Okay. No, the High on Life one though? Yeah. Like, I, it's already installed. It doesn't come out until like December 12th or something. And I've had it installed on my Xbox for like two months now. It had, it gave me the options. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and install it. That way, whenever it comes out, I can be like, I can see if this is any good. It actually does look good. It does. Plus, I mean, if you like Rick and Morty, then you're going to love it. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking love Rick and Morty. I like me some Rick and Morty. As far as any games coming out, though, I don't... Hmm, I'm trying to think of things. But I really... There's nothing... I don't know. I don't know. I still love games. I'm just not like how I used to be about them. I don't know. I feel like... I, I, I don't know how I'm pushing the blame on me getting older on something else, but I feel like, like the quality of games or like the um, excitement for games even. Well, I think the problem the nowadays same. is just everything's too grindy. You yeah. Can't, you can't play a game without having to grind for like a whole day just grindy grindy and and try hardy it feels like every game everyone's trying to just be the best and it's like i saw i saw a meme that was like it was just a picture oh no it was have you seen the meme of uh ghost yeah it's just ghost staring yeah Yeah. uh it was it was that and it was like a father of two who just got done with a 14 hour shifts uh at the oil rig Coming home and going two and seventeen to Adderall, uh, fucking middle schoolers who says he sucks ass and should die, and they fucked his mom. And I'm like, yep, that feels about right. Yeah, that feels, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it is because like, that you could grind for a whole day, and then be like, have to go to work or something, and not be able to play for like two days, come back, and then like everybody's already like ten levels ahead of you with like all the guns gold and everything and i'm like i'm like i just don't understand like there's there's a skill gap to a point but then once once you get to like having no attachments and not really being able to like aim down sight before somebody's like across the map quick scoping you like it's just it's a little much no yeah i yeah i agree i don't think they definitely don't make it as fun as they could they definitely i mean and i get it they're yeah. they're making money off the people that are grinding the fuck out of the game and literally spend every free moment playing that one game i totally understand but hey i I will give credit to one i like multiverses a lot i just haven't been playing it too much same we we, we picked it up man i don't feel like like i feel like there's some good ass people who have practiced the game but i don't feel like i'm being left behind yeah you know what i mean i stripe the (coughs) gremlin is my new fucking dude that man's a lunatic, son. I'm just flying around with a chainsaw going, rah, 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 and I'm fucking <laughs> loving it. I did awesome. a, I did an arcade with him because I wanted to try him out, and I fuck with him. I like it a lot. Plus, like the, where you hit him, and then you can uh, auto-lock the pistol. Now, I, okay, yes. Do you know, <laughs> we're about to have a multiverses discussion. Do you know what he does when he throws the boombox down and shoots it? What is that? Uh, so that is I a. I don't know what he does. That is like a. It's basically for you to guard the edge. It's like a edge guard. Okay. So like okay. if they, if they are coming up on the edge, if you mm. can hit that at the right time, you can send them right back off the side. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I haven't What's actually hit anybody with it at all, so I had no fucking clue what was going on. I think it this. also like launches them. So with it launching them, it'll kind of like it can like send them up and then send you into a combo. I I will say, dude, I'm very happy. Multiverse is actually a good game and not just some like oh, yeah. cash grab. Because like you know, like what uh, Nickelodeon Kart Racers is just like a cash grab clone of. Yep. Mario Kart and shit, and like they do that like all the, the time. All Star Brawl that they had. Yeah, they just was, they're like, oh, we was, have a lot of properties. Let's just try to copy this game and put I mean, no heart or soul into it. To be it. fair, everybody's done it. They have, but like, goddamn, Multiverse has just proved you can do it and still have a good game. 
True. And it doesn't feel like it's just trying to be Super Smash. Obviously, it is inspired by them. There's no yeah. doubt. But the whole 2v2 thing and the whole playing off each other and the perk system and shit, it makes it feel different, which is cool, which is good. Because anytime I play any of those other games, I'm like, well, I'd just rather be playing Smash. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be playing Mario Kart. I don't feel like that with Multiverses, which is cool. I don't think there's a racing game like that. That like you would enjoy over Mario, or that you you think that compared to Mario Kart? Uh, yeah, that like compares to Mario Kart. I don't think there's, I don't think there's one like that because um, Crash wasn't bad, but yeah, I still I still would rather play Mario Kart. But I mean, the Crash I know, Turbo Racing was decent. I think what was it like the tag team racing one? Oh yeah, I know what was that. I know what you're talking about. I think that's what it was. I think it was Crash Tag Team Racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Allison has yeah. that for the GameCube, and we played a little bit. Have you have you looked at like the prices of like the old um like the old uh, Mario Kart games? I'm pretty I sure looked at the specific prices of those. I'm pretty sure that Double Dash is like seventy bucks, maybe. Yeah, dude, it's it's insane. Um, I luckily I own Here Comes the Pain for PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. But when I was searching around, like, because I have a PlayStation 2 and I fuck with it, I was searching, there's just some games, like, the Here Comes the Pains on there were, like, $60. I was like, oh, my God. And then, like, do you do you remember the Super Super Muscle wrestling game I used to play on PlayStation all the time? With the, oh, you, you don't remember, do you? My brain. Oh, I'm going to say I do, on. but I can't, I can't, I can't place it. You, oh, it's one of the great, Ultimate Muscle, that's what it was called. God damn. That's it. <laughs> Oh, I love that game. You let me let me. I, we may have played it on GameCube, which I think it was on PlayStation, but we may have played it on GameCube when we were little. But you definitely played this shit with me all the time. Hold on, I'm gonna send this to you. I'm gonna send that to you. See if that rings any bells. That face does. See that face <laughs> behind nightmares. <laughs> A goddamn god tier game. Love that shit, dude. But like that one's like two hundred dollars. That one's insanely expensive, and I was like, "Oh my god, I want it so bad!" But that's wild. Yeah, no, it's like there's a there's a game shop up in uh, Gate City, and they've yeah. got like a bunch of old games. That's where I got her uh, GameCube, and uh, and yeah, I was just looking at all of the old games, and I was like, I don't even think he had Melee, but if he did, it was probably like a for $150. I've got, I've got, I've got Melee somewhere. I've got it somewhere at my parents' house. As to uh, where, I don't know. But there's also another GameCube controller somewhere. We're, uh, sign me up. We're going digging. We'll just crash their house. Start searching for fucking Melee. Jesus. <laughs> what? The picture you sent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude is upside down. Dude, his head just crushed. It's such a goat game. I loved it. I want it so bad, but that's gonna be hard to come by. I actually went to G2K last time I was over your way, and I cannot remember everything I bought. I bought Crush Hour. I bought San Andreas. No, Vice City. I bought. I bought like seven or eight just random old games that I used to have on PlayStation. Any any of the cheaper ones. That I could find anyway. Which Vice City wasn't really cheap cheap. But like it was the no cover version. The covered yeah. version was $35. And the no cover version was $17. I was like you know what fuck it. It's okay to not have a cover. It's the same game. So whatever. Mm-hmm. But like. I have, been, I have been more into the. Playing the older school shit recently. Because I guess it probably. Like you said it probably reminds me of. Before everything was so grindy. And like it was uh, when me and Logan played Madden. Um, He. He installed the new Madden and he went to start it up. He had never played. He hadn't played. He's like, I ain't played any since like Madden, since Peyton Hills was on the cover. He said, and Jesus. I was like, okay. Jesus Christ. Which and I was, I was like, goaded at that game. But, uh, but they, um, they do that whole thing where he has to create a character and then he, well, he starts into, in the Super Bowl, you know, that's how yeah. it starts. And then you got to create a character and then you got to do this and that. And then they ask you about Ultimate Heman. And at some point he goes, what happened to just playing a fucking video game? And I was like, yeah. I feel that. Dude, I feel dude, that. dude, everything's grindy. Madden, 2K, fuck, dude, I'm pretty sure golf's even grindy now. Like, they've no, fucking sure, taken sure. golf and made it grindy. I'm like, I'm like, I remember whenever it was fun to play golf on fucking GTA, and then now it's like, hey, we're gonna fucking, 
we're gonna fucking make one and you're all gonna buy it and it's gonna fucking you're gonna fucking love it instead of playing it on gta and everybody's like yeah and i'm like I, I mean i wasn't like huge on it on gta so like i don't know why there's just a random ass fan base now for just golf in general just everything <laughs> golf like people are like oh yeah i just want to i just want to start golfing i'm gonna get my wife to just buy me these four hundred dollar clubs and go play once a month on did you know me off weekend did, did, did you know me and nick are trying to get into golfing i did yeah yeah, we've bought everything except the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jordan, you're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a fucking golf course here where I live, dude. It's like and a gonna, nice. It's right, actually nice. Right, I'm gonna go through it again. You're gonna buy a um, membership or whatever. You fucking. It's it's relatively club. cheap here. It's relatively country club. No, your ass no, out. No, you know, no this ain't a country fucking, club. Nah, these. Buy these expensive ass clubs. There's one over in Bristol that you pay ten thousand dollars a year for. I ain't doing that. I'm just doing mine. It's like twenty dollars to play a day. You know, like simple shit. And then I think Emory and Henry's free. I think they let you play for free. I ain't bougie enough to be playing these big ass golf things with all these rich people. But I'll do. I'll do me some cheap golf. I feel like golf's fun. And that's like know? that's like IRL grinding. It's like you're gonna go out there. And you're be like, <laughs> I want to be the fucking. I want to be able to beat Nick. And then Nick's gonna be like, I want to beat Jordan. And then y'all are gonna fucking go hard as shit for a week. And then fucking play your one-off game of golf every other month. And then we'll be back to this conversation one day, and you'll be like, you know, you know, it was it was it was fun while it lasted. But. No, no, no. This conversation one day is going to be, wow, Hunter, thank you for coming with us to play golf. Wasn't it fun? And wasn't it great that I kicked your ass at it? You know, that's going to be the conversation. And that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the voicemail that you send to me that I don't ever see because um, I, I'm not going to lose first off and second. Uh, yeah, it's it's not going to happen. Just you just golfing not, in general. You're just not a golfer, bro. I can be. Why can't I be a golfer? What does I mean, that mean? What is a golfer? I mean, you just don't, you just don't, you just don't fit the golf boy criteria. I, I agree with that, but I don't think I fit whiskey collector criteria or. You do. You've got the long these, hair. Is anybody, that common? Anybody. No. There's a dude that's famous on TikTok for literally taking whiskey, putting stuff in the whiskey for a week, and then like. He eats whatever was left in the whiskey and then drinks the whiskey after doing that. And he has, like, his hair's, like, long as shit. Mustache. Yeah, I don't really got a mustache, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't really grow facial hair. I, I, I can't grow a mustache, that's for sure. I got I grow, like, the reverse Hitler. I can't get anything the going here. reverse Hitler. Yeah, there's no hair that comes in right there. In the isn't old Hitler region. Like, isn't that just kind of like a, like a Chinese mustache? Like, I know that they, yeah. like... They would kind of yeah. start it from like at the ends of their nostrils and then grow it to the side and then just like straight down to like their nipples. Yeah, if I cut it properly, I could definitely rock a Fu Manchu. Like if I actually tried, I, th I could do that. But I, yeah. So yeah, I guess so. I guess that is just that. I'm not trying yeah. to say that it's just a Chinese mustache style, but like that's the only that's the only reference that I have is just like the old movies where they're like lords or whatever and they're just kind of sitting in their kimonos with their long ass Fu Manchus just 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 out there yeah no you're probably right you're probably right that is, that's pretty that is the reverse Hitler so I got you but no up. I don't know I don't think you have to fit a vibe to do a thing you know I'm just saying I don't know I mean you don't have to fit a vibe like I I, I don't look like I fit any vibe besides fucking sitting and smoking hella weed, but I don't I don't do that. That's yeah. the vibe that I that I <laughs> that I fit in, but that's not my vibe. No, but see that's what I'm saying. Like it ain't my vibe, but like it can be. If 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 you look like you're just a stoner boy, and you're not, then why can I not look like I'm a golfer boy and be right? I mean, you could. You just I just I just don't I just don't see it going. The way that you envision it going. Uh, probably not, but I want to do it anyway. There's a set of $200 golf clubs at Walmart. I get a bonus this month, or next month. I'll just spend my bonus on them. Get some real bougie ones. 
when I went to Dick's, there was a $600 driver, just one single club. I was like, hmm, I ain't really ready for this life because that's insane. What? Just the whole, the whole golfing in general. Uh, what got us on golf? Where, where were we? Where were we headed? Mm, we went from grinding to GTA to uh, yeah. GTA golf to you grinding golf in real life to me telling you that yeah you're probably not gonna probably not gonna uh, do much with the golf and then I mean, we're gonna, right. then we're gonna look back on it and I'm gonna be like yeah yeah what, well, to, what, to, what, what an illustrious golf career you had to to reel this all back to the grindy aspect of things. I mean, I'm looking, I have my Xbox open right now, and I'm looking at all the games available. Fortnite. I like Fortnite, but it is grindy, undeniably. Warzone. Um, grindy. Call of Duty well, General, honestly, grindy. I wouldn't even really say that Fortnite's grindy. That's no? probably one of the only ones. Just because to to win, you don't you don't have to grind. You really don't. There's no, there's no end. Not to win. Not to win, yeah. If you're looking at it from a purely win perspective, yeah. You're right. I mean, like, grinding would probably help, like, if you're just, like, grinding out the game, like, playing a shit ton. But other than just playing a shit ton, you really don't, you really don't have to grind. No, that is, that is something I'm just, I'm not a fan of at all, is any, the whole Overwatch 2 thing they're doing with the new heroes, yeah. the thing the Call of Duty does with guns and season passes and shit. I do, I do not like having an advantage because you pay money. Yeah, I do think that's fuck fucky. Do not like that at all. Fuck I just think it's you. not fair. Yeah, <laughs> which I don't think that Call of Duty really does it in the sense that you have to pay to get your guns good. I mean, you can like buy uh, blueprints and stuff that will give you certain attachments, but other than that, you don't really. You kind of have to grind the fuck out of the game to get the attachments you want. Um, the thing about that is, though, is that, uh, you have to spend an ungodly amount of hours to actually be able to, one, unlock the gun that you want, and then unlock the attachments for the gun that you want, and, yeah, it's just, it's a whole process, but they added, uh, Black Ops 1, bro. Same. but they Todd added points. a, uh, they added in DMZ that, there's a gun that you can only get from DMZ, and you have to uh, you have to go through and kill this dude and exfil from DMZ with the gun to unlock it. That's that's more iffy territory for me, but like I don't know. I just genuinely think about it now. I'm like, wow, Black Ops with the COD points and the wager matches. Yeah. Like fucking, it didn't used to be party games. It used to be wager matches. You used to do it to see if you could make money. It was cool as fuck. I always like that. I don't think I ever did a wager match. Like, like, no, I'm talking, you, you, that's what, like, one of the chamber and shit used to be. Oh. oh. Stick and Stones, gun game. Yeah, it used to be wager. You'd wager COD points, and you'd win back if you won. God. I'd always, I always fucked with that. I always thought that was really cool. Wish there was more stuff like that. I, I get it. They don't make as much money, but damn. Yes. That was the jam, regardless. I don't even think they had, like, blueprints and stuff in... Black Ops 1, did they? No. No, they didn't. No, it's just a camo ground. All the camo ground for the gold. Or just to collect them all through card points, which once again was just through playing the game, not anything else. So, but yeah. God. I miss it. I do. I truly really do miss Black Ops 1. And if they ever, like, actually remaster it, I may have to just Dude. teach everyone what's up. Including you. You're not so Okay. <laughs> okay. Shut your mouth. Oh, all right. Well, we are closing in on the 40 minute mark. Would you, is there anything else we have uh, skipped over that we have forgotten? I, I, I can't remember what the, uh, the initial conversation was now as I'm trying to. We, we started with the, the universe mode. Ah, uh, yes. And we just kind of let it take it where it took us. Uh, so. I mean, no, I don't think there's anything necessarily that, uh, that I'm forgetting. Okay. Well, good little conversation. Glad to be back doing this. And, um, yeah. Should 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 be back to a good weekly basis, I'm hoping, from here on out. I got my sickness out of the way early, so we should be good. Jordan was down with the sickness, but not, not, not in the good way. That is true. 
It is true. So just check out the website, butthefuture.com. Um, butthefuture.com. YouTube. YouTube, but the future. Um, TikTok, but the future. Do we have a Twitter? Do we have it? Yes, a yes. Twitter, but, but the future. I don't have Twitter, so I don't. I don't. But yeah, it's but it's but the future. But the and then future Instagram Twitter. is Instagram but the future pod. The future pod. P O D. P O D. But you can find um, us here at Force Nostalgia. That is true. On Spotify, we will catch y'all, and you do catch y'all later. Peace. Deuces.